everyone, it's Keegan. So today I am doing my September favorites and holy is it September it's like October and fall's almost here. I know it's fall for a lot of you guys, but our fall starts like end of September or not September, end of November and kind of like it's like a two day thing and then it's like a winter. I live in Arizona, so you know, winter is, it's not that wintry, but whatever. And we're going with it. Last favorites video in this room. It's kind of upsetting. I might cry. I won't cry. I'm tearing up. I'm, I'm not going to cry. Okay. 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 So I'm going to get to start my phone volumes on. So if Twitter goes off, I apologize. I'm just going to get started with my favorites and they're in this little bucket and it says Paris on it. I have mentioned this in every favorites video and I'm going to mention it again and it's the CoverGirl Atlas Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is just a really nice base for your face. Base, face, huh? And keep them clever. Okay. Um, I just really like how it kind of evens out my skin tone, color. <laughs> Yeah, that. And I am really pale, and this is my color. It might be actually too dark for me because I am getting paler, and it's almost gone. But you know, we're going with it. It's like here, like there. I think this is my third or second one, but it's really amazing. And I have been breaking out a lot this month, like more than I have ever broken out for. And this is a really great thing. It doesn't really cover up my acne completely, but it makes a nice base for the concealer and it lightens it up so if you guys are looking for a really good foundation that's from the drugstore i would recommend this one one that is not from the drugstore is the mac match master foundation and this is spf 15. this again is too dark for me but everything's too dark for me so whatever um this actually was my sister's and it broke her out so she gave it to me and it was a really i really liked it for covering up my acne and it was just my face was like, hey, let's make it look like you have the chicken pox. It's still kind of like that right now. You can't really see it. I'm really only wearing concealer right now, which was like a first um, for this month because it was just incredibly insane. I was supposed to go to the dermatologist tomorrow, but it's been clearing up, which is amazing. Thank God. But I really like this and it's awesome. It do MAC foundations um, tend to break a lot of people out. I don't know if this made it worse or better, but I just know it did do a really great job of covering it up like 70% of the way. And for the extra percent that needed to be covered up, I used my Boing Concealer by Benefit, and this deserves like an award. Like, a, I dropped it. I cannot tell you guys how amazing this stuff is. Um, uh, it's lasted me so long. I've had this for like two years, and it's definitely hit pan, but it's... It's nowhere near being gone, and I'm in the color 01 because I am pale like a snowman. This is tan for me though, and people are always judging me. If you ever like put your arm next to someone and you're like, look at you, you're so much tanner than me. I My phone went off. Let's see who tweeted it. I got a text. My cousin Kerrigan texted me, shout out to you. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to turn my volume off. Anyways, this is just an amazing concealer and I I can't even... Okay, I'll put a picture right here of what my face looked like when it was like bad. It was not good and people literally... I get... Com I don't want this to sound like really like selfish, but I get compliments on my skin a lot. People will always talk about like, you can I want your skin and I literally told them like, no. I was like, no, my skin's not perfect. And I was like, do you want me to show you this picture? And I showed them the picture and they were like... One girl was like, you photoshopped this. And now, look, okay, do you know, the iOS 8, oh my god. Okay, that made me excited. Anyways, um, I just think this concealer is amazing. It's only $20, and if you were looking for a really good one, this bad boy. And I also loved the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I just got a new one today, and it already cracked. But who cares? It's awesome, and it's like my favorite thing ever. And it does have a little bit of extra coverage. So I am in 01 Transparent. Naked Basics palette. I talk about this every single video. It's awesome. And, 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 <gasps> what, 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 Naked Basics 2 palette. No, yes. It's something new. And I really want to do like, um, make a comparison video on it. And I really like the color Stark and Frisk in this. And 
yeah, it's just, I like it. I don't really wear eyeshadow on a daily basis for school, but for like weekends and if let's say I wake up early, which I never do, I will wear it. There's no boys for me to impress that I like, so what's the point of me putting on extra makeup and getting up extra early if there's no cute boy to impress? I mean, right? So for clearing up my acne, this thing is a holy grail, um, clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment. I got a new one of these recently and they're just, I talk about this all the time, it's literally the most amazing thing ever, you can get it from Target. And if you have not tried this and you have like occasional spots or just like a lot even, I dropped it, but I would definitely check it out because it's amazing. I love how I have like conversations with people while I film videos. Anyways, we are doing random favorites now. Okay, first one is iOS 8. I know a ton of people don't like it, but I actually kind of like it. Minus the fact that when I try to sync it to my computer, I delete all my apps and have a lot of music that won't play anymore for some reason. I don't know. I really want the new iPhone 6, but I can't get it because my plane's not up. Um, anyways, okay, so TV shows I've been loving, Big Brother, uh, I think will be a winner by the time this video goes up, but I have to pre-film this video because I'm moving and I, yeah, anyways, <laughs> okay, um, Netflix, Orange is the New Black, <laughs> I mean, it's not really a show that I would recommend watching with, like, your parents in the room, I, I prefer to watch it with, like, the volume really low and the, my door locked because it's, um, there's nudity in that show. Yeah. It's a good show. I really think it's awesome, but... It's not really appropriate, but who cares? I am a big girl. I seriously love Tasty. She is just hilarious. I think she's, like, the funniest thing ever. Um, and then Saved by the Bell. I haven't finished that, but I really do like that show. Um, because everyone always talked about it, and I was, like, on Netflix, because, like, the anniversary, and I was like, why not watch it? And... I really like it, and um, Zach is just really cute. Music, I have been loving Hannah Montana Radio. Like, that's all I listen to, and it's sort of to the point where I need, like, mental help. Why are my eyes tearing up? But I got everyone to sing high school musical songs in my dance class, and then while we were stretching, she played high school musical, and it was just like a sing-along. It was just perfect, and I would definitely recommend Hannah Montana Radio over High School Musical Radio, because High School Musical Radio isn't my favorite, but Hannah Montana Radio is just really good. And like, once you listen to it for a long time, then like, Lizzie McGuire songs start coming up, and just like, the more you listen to it, the better you, it, it gets. I don't really have a ton of favorites this month, but my last one is this room, because I'm leaving it, and it's making me super mad. <sighs> yeah, I know, I'm moving, and a lot of you guys were asking me um, in my comments, and uh, not in my comments, in the comments, uh, if I'm moving schools, no I'm not, it's two miles away from this house, but that's two miles too far. I want to do a QA and a because I did one last month and it was so much fun, so if you guys want to leave me questions down there, do it because it was just awesome and I loved it and I had so much fun filming that video and just like reading your comments and your questions and make like the comments like super, like make me feel uncomfortable, you know, like super personal to the point where I'm like, ooh, you know. I think those are fun. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I didn't really have a ton, but anyways, I hope you liked it, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. I have the Iggy Azalea song. It's like, what is it? I'm his new bitch. Oh, new bitch. I have that song stuck in my head. And for this extra... So, we are talking about non, or, I mean, not, okay, we do, ow. I am his new bitch.